When you enter into Lockin State Park, you are entering a piece of Michigan history. The park was established during the conservation movement that occurred from 1890 to 1920, during which the nature writings of Henry David Thoreau, John Muir, and others have popularized outdoor recreation and preservation of the natural world. This movement extolled the virtues of nature and inspired flocks of city dwellers to vacation in America's woods, prairies, and mountains. During this same time, the town of Interlochen was established to support the area's logging and fishing industries. Most of the area's forests were sent off to the sawmills by train. You can still see the old railroad right away at the state park if you explore some of the informal trails between the campground and M137. Another piece of logging history you see when entering Interlochen State Park is the set of Michigan logging wheels. These gigantic wheels were called high wheels or big wheels. With them and a set of mules or oxen, the big red wheels were used to transport the heavy logs over uneven, wet, or snowy ground throughout Michigan. However, the Buckley and Douglas Lumber Company had a different vision for their interlocking property between Green and Duck Lakes. They set aside 200 acres of virgin pine forest as a summer resort, which they thought could be more profitable for them than cutting the trees down. And they were right. With its convenient access by train from Manistee or Traverse City, visitors began flocking to the region during the warmer months to fish, camp, canoe, and escape the heat of the crowded cities. Capitalizing on the vacation boom, local businessman Willis Pennington purchased some land on the banks of Green Lake and opened the Pennington Hotel in 1909. In 1914, the lumber company decided to subdivide the property on Green Lake as a cottage community called Pine Park and was thinking of logging the area. World War I had made the lumber much more valuable than before. To save the trees and preserve the property, Willis Pennington bought it from the lumber company and then he and other locals lobbied the state to buy the property. The Michigan legislature allocated $60,000 in 1917 to purchase the property and the newly acquired parkland was dedicated as the Pines. The Michigan State Park Commission was established two years later and given responsibility for overseeing, acquiring, and maintaining public lands and establishing Michigan State Park System. Although the property was purchased prior to 1919 when the State Parks was formed, Interlochen was the first public park to be transferred to the State Park Commission in 1920 and is considered Michigan's first state park. The Interlochen Center for the Arts is right across the street from the Interlochen State Park. Started in 1928 as the National High School Orchestra Camp, this program grew into the Arts Center, which includes a summer camp program, a fine arts high school that our daughter Aspen attends, and a public radio station. The Arts Center even hosts many concert and theater productions that are open to the public. There is even a paved trail that allows you to walk from the State Park's modern campground to the Arts Center. The modern campground Southern Loop is nestled in a grove of the biggest of Interlochen's pine trees. These are living examples of what the original trees that covered Michigan looked like before most of the state was logged. Camping among these old growth white and red pines is very special. The tallest of the trees here are in the 125 to 130 foot range. There are 431 modern campsites with electric hookups on Duck Lake. Being on the west shore of the lake, early risers are rewarded with stunning sunrises over the lake's still waters. The campsites in the modern southern loop are more like sleeping in a forest and closer to the lake than the northern loop. For some sites, you can actually take a short walk from camp and put your toes in the sandy bottomed lake. The bathrooms in the southern loop are older, having been built in 1954 and 1990. There are also several wood-framed canvas tents and cabins for rent in the modern campgrounds. One cabin in the southern loop is next to a boat launch and right on the lake. The northern loop has a more open, modern campground atmosphere. It is actually situated on a bluff above the lake. However, there are two sets of steps that will take you down to the lakeshore. Some campers even keep their boats tied to the shoreline here. The North Campground has two modern bathrooms and shower buildings that were built in 2004. 
If you have a large RV or need 50 amp electrical service, then you'll want to stay in the North Loop. Between the two modern campground loops is a day use area. It has a boat launch, picnic shelter, beach, store, playground, and a small natural area. There's a paved trail that travels through the area and connects the two campground loops. We found a gum tree where visitors have deposited their chewing gum, and some even make gum relief sculptures. There's also a nice spot on the woody shore to sit and enjoy the lake and the wind in the trees. On the other side of M37 on Green Lake, there is also two rustic campground loops with 59 rustic sites. This is a beautiful setting with more room between sites than the modern campground, but if you camp here you'll have to go without electricity and have to use pit toilets and hand pumps for water. There is also a boat launch on Green Lake. Our neighbor in the modern campground during our last trip said they actually like to go to the rustic campground or boat launch area on Green Lake to swim rather than Duck Lake's official beach area. Interlochen is a beautiful state park to camp at. Although there are no official hiking trails here, many campers will walk on the roads through the campground or wander through the informal trail system through the woods surrounding the campgrounds. We've stayed here in both the modern and rustic campgrounds and highly recommend Interlochen State Park if you are looking for a place to camp in northern Michigan. If you've enjoyed our video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day and keep wandering.